everybody and happy Thanksgiving. Yes, today is Thanksgiving. So I decided, because our Thanksgiving includes the traditional Thanksgiving foods, but I'm also gonna cook um, Southern Soul Food, which is what I do every year. So I thought I would take some time to kind of share with you guys some of my recipes. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is my sweet potato pie recipe. Um, so what I do is I take fresh sweet potatoes, not canned, okay? And um, I just line them, line the cookie sheet with parchment paper. I preheat the oven to about 400 degrees and I keep them in there for about an hour or until it's actually soft. Now soul food recipes are a little tough because most of it is just word of mouth handed down generations. So there usually is not um, an exact science to it. It's more of what the taste is and how it turns out. So um, this is kind of one of the first times I'm actually gonna break it down. So yes, I take them and put them in the oven for about an hour or at least until they're completely soft and the skin is just easily able to be pulled off. So I'm gonna show you kind of what that looks like right now so you can get an idea of what I'm saying. Let me see if I can figure this out. Ooh. And I have baked my sweet potatoes for about an hour. They look a little maybe overdone, yes, but I like to do that to make sure they're nice and soft. So you see how the skin just peels off? This is what you're looking for. And in the inside, it's kind of like this. So then what I do is I take it out completely and I mash them up. So let's get <laughs> Um, I have actually already made my sweet potato pies because I make them the night before. I feel that personally sweet potato pies are best served cold. So um, yes, I made mine last night, so I'll show you what it looks like, but in the meantime, I'll post the recipe right now on the screen next to me so you can see what ingredients I used. Yes, it's very fatty, but it is delicious. Delicious. Fresh ingredients together, and I put it in my KitchenAid stand-up mixer. Um, this is kind of what's left over. So you'll have um, all the ingredients mixed in. This is kind of the consistency. I try to make sure the sweet potatoes are as mashed and um, smooth as possible. Then I put it in the oven. Yes, I'm sorry, my oven is dirty at the bottom. I do need to clean it, don't judge. And then I have it um, on 375 for about 45 minutes to an hour or until um, the sweet potato in the middle kind of firms up a little bit. I let it sit out and cool off at room temperature and then put it in the fridge for at least, I'd say four to six hours or more. Covered, of course. Um, I'm excited to show you guys what it what it uh, looks like, what it turns out like. I am hoping everything turns out and it won't be this huge epic fail on a nationwide scale. <laughs> but um, yes, I'm excited. So here we go. And again, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then I take it up. Try it. Thank you for watching this Thanksgiving Soul Food Special and my cooking with Costilla Girl. And um, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.